we want to thank everyone uh, for joining us that's hopping on this uh, this and watching this video. The purpose of the video is uh, we really see a, a shift in businesses in using um, software and, and innovative software in their business practices. And I've asked Preston Guthrie from Rippling to join me today. And he is an expert in that, especially in the Rippling platform itself. And so I just want to ask him some questions and let him tell us all, you know, how this type of system can benefit our business, your business, um, and, and maybe learn a bit, a bit about what Rippling is and, and its advantages over some other options out there. So, uh, again, Preston, thanks for happy to be here. This. Yeah, and uh, just want to start start it off right now with the question uh, to kind of learn about what is HRMS and HRIS. What are those things, uh, and and how do they play into companies and how they operate today? Yeah. So first off, I mean in the insurance industry in the payroll industry just in in the business industry right there there's all these acronyms that people are using so hrms hris it's human resource management systems or human resource information system it's the same thing at the end of the day um but really what they're here to do is they're here to help businesses automate and streamline the operations of the business right the, the first thing that a lot of people think of when thinking about HRAS systems or HRMS, um, onboarding, offboarding, right? Benefits administration. Um, some of them will dabble into the payroll realm of things. Um, and so talking specifically about Rippling, we don't, we don't think of it just as, you know, an HRAS or HRMS system. We, we, we want to incorporate the entire employee experience, right? And so that's where we can jump into things like, not only are we working with, you know, the the standard of like onboarding and offboarding, right? Compliance issues, uh, helping employees get their documents signed in the onboarding process. But, you know, also we're gonna jump into, you know, full payroll automation. We're gonna jump into um, fully automating the benefits administration side and having them all talk to each other. And then last, um, we actually take it a, a big step further and jump into the IT side of things as well. You know, helping employees get their computer set up or getting accounts provisioned as they're going through the onboarding experience. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I've really been impressed with as I've seen the stuff that you, that you guys have is, is the IT aspect. That's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but I, I don't know. And, and you tell me, does it, does it benefit every company? What types of companies really benefit from something like this? Is it is it a one-size-fits-all? Is it a company with two employees, five employees, 50 employees? Who is it that, that needs something like this today? Yeah, so that's a good question. We, we face challenges at different steps of, you know, a company's life cycle, right? You know, traditionally, businesses like to think of, like, Okay, I don't want to start looking at HRIS systems until maybe we have 25 employees because now we're getting to the point where we have to really, you know, mitigate where our time is spent, right? Do we do we want to be focusing on automation or do we want to be focusing on different things, right? When we built out Rippling, what we really wanted to do was create a system that is going to optimize what we're doing for companies that have two employees all the way up to a thousand employees. And so I, I know that that is a very vague answer, um, but it just depends on what the companies are trying to accomplish, right? When we built out Rippling, we did it with the idea of helping companies scale. Right, we have all the bells and whistles that a 500 life company is going to need, but a two life company isn't going to need to dabble dabble in all those things. But if you are a startup and you're trying to get things running and you're trying to automate things, it's nice to be able to have those features that you know that you can add on at a later point without having to switch HR systems every year, every other year. Because companies that are in high growth mode they're typically making these purchases for the point in time that they're at mm -hmm. and not for the scalable future, right? And so you can make a purchase 
into you know the HR side of things, so that way you can just all right, we've got our onboarding piece, and we're going to have all their all the employees sign the documents right here up front, right? And it's all stored in one place, and we've got five employees, so that means that the person that was doing the onboarding before now just has everything in one location, and they don't have to worry about like the filing cabinet or like what papers did they sign because everything's a checklist online, right? But then as they grow, as they become that 50 life company, that process is still in place. All of those documents that you hired the employees back when you were five employees are still in the same location. But now you're adding things like, hey, we, we really need a time and attendance feature. Like that's something that, you know, now that we have hourly employees, now that we have all these different things that we need to add on, now that we want to take a look at applicant tracking, right? We want to be more serious about these types of hires that we're making. You know, you can put them all into one place and essentially grow from a two life group to a thousand life group and not have to change systems every other year, every year. So awesome. So, so you're telling me that this, your system, you don't have to buy the whole package. It's, it comes in bits and pieces as you grow. So it grows with you. That's, is that, is that? Yeah. Yeah. The, the really nice thing about the way that we've set it up is we, we understand that different businesses, different industries have different needs. And so we don't want to force you into this like, hey, when you purchase Rippling, you have to purchase all of these different packages. You have to, you have to buy like our deluxe enterprise version when we're just a, you know, five person company or we're a 15 person company and we don't have hourly employees. So like, why would we be paying for a time and attendance system when we don't have any hourly employees? Right. But as that workforce grows, you understand, okay, we've been a, a client of Ripplings for a while. Now we can go and add on to that. Let's add those hourly employees. Let's add that time and attendance system. That's now just going to seamlessly talk to the payroll system that we've been using for the last however long it is, right? So yeah, we, we've set it up to where you you can purchase Rippling as, as an HR system. And then from there, there are all these different modules that make sense for different companies, for different industries, for different models of, of businesses. So. So as a business owner, um, how do I make it make financial sense? How, how do I prove its value, uh, a return on investment, if you would? Is, is, there, is, is there statistical evidence of having something like this will uh, increase your bottom line, or, or how does that work? Um, I'm sure there is statistical evidence. I don't have any statistical well, evidence, but... The, the thing that we run into pretty regularly, right? We, we work in all 50 states. And the thing that we run into when we talk to some of the smaller companies that just say, you know what, I just, I just don't know if this investment is the right thing for us to do right now. They end up, some of them end up coming back later and they say, you know what, I really wish that we would have made this purchase six months ago, right? One of the things that I, I, run into that I had experience, right? Whether it's on the insurance side of things or on the technology side of things, and you're talking to your clients, a lot of times the same person that's running the payroll for the company is also the person that's taking care of the hiring. They might be doing some of the purchasing, some of the receiving, right? When you're a small company, a lot of the people that are there are wearing multiple different hats. And so if you can save on the automation, right? You know, take for example, the average company spends four hours a pay run doing payroll, right? And if you can take that person that's running your payroll who also has multiple other jobs and you can put them in a system like Rippling, because our average client takes seven minutes to run payroll per pay run. And so you give them four hours back per week or every other week. Right. And then also you're dealing with, you know, 30 minutes when you're onboarding somebody and you're trying to get all their documents back from them, you're trying to get everything signed from them, that can take anywhere from 15 minutes to, you know, an hour and a half trying to get everything back from those new employees. Right now you're looking at, you know, five to 10 hours a month that you could be adding productivity onto those people who, like I said before, are typically your, the, the smarter, more competent people in the company that if you add their, that productivity to whatever else they can be doing, you know, that is something that's calculable. Okay. If that's a word, yeah. Cal calculable. We're going to make sure it is. <laughs> and if it's not, we're just going to throw out this whole... Just throw the whole thing in. <laughs> or we can coin it. <laughs> yeah, let's check on that. Um, so question, we work with a lot of contractors. Mm -hmm. 
And I mean, they they do things the way they do it. They've done it that way for a long time. And something like this technology, I don't, I don't know. It maybe doesn't always feel like something they need. Can you tell me? Is there a reason or uh, you know a way that a contractor might use this in in have it be beneficial for them? Yeah. So when I first came on board with Rippling, um, we we were kind of hesitant to talk to contractors, construction companies, you know, a little bit more of the blue collar type space. Rippling's based out of San Francisco. Um, we work with a lot of tech companies. We work with a lot of white collar companies. Um, and there were a few limitations that we had in the system that we had created. And some of those were the fact that we didn't have job costing, right? So with a lot of your construction companies, you know, roofing companies, for example, there, there are different wages that you're paying employees based on whatever the job is that they are doing. It's not just a set X dollars of X amount that they're making per hour. It's, how much time are you spending up on the roof? How much time are you spending down, right? How much time are you spending back in the yard? And so there's different wages. There's different, you know, implications that, that come with all those challenges. And then we added that job costing, right? So we wanted to allow for these companies that are working with different types of scenarios to be able to use Rippling, to be able to send that information into their accounting system to make sure that it all matches up, right? And then last... The, the thing that we run into a lot with, with construction companies, with, with, uh, contractors is, you know, people are saying, oh, you know what? My employees aren't very tech savvy. Yeah. Which, Absolutely. which that, that's understandable. But then you go to some of the job sites and, you know, on the breaks, everybody's pulling out their iPhones. And, and so we've created mobile apps. We've, we've made sure that we can work with anybody that, you know, is, is on their first job all the way up to getting ready to retire, right? There, there are different workarounds. We want to make sure that we can help facilitate that automation process for any type of company. You know, you don't, you don't have to be tech savvy. There's no programming that we're asking anybody to do. For these employees, everything is all on one dashboard for them, you know? So as an employee, I can then log into my Rippling account, whether it's on my phone or on my computer and, you know, take care of my, my, PTO or time off requests, right? That's all in one dashboard where I can see, you know, my benefits that are offered to me. I can see what my deductions are. I can check my pay stubs and it's all in one place. And it, and it really is, it feels like, you know, feels like any app that you would go in and you click on my, you know, my time off, you know, how much time off have I accrued this year? Or, you know, I want to check my pay stub. Let me just check on that app and it's going to take care of that for me. And it's going to give them a task list, right? We want to make sure that if there's something that's required of them by their employer, it's going to be their front and center. Hey, what is your to-do list? You know, we went through new OSHA training. I need to make sure that you read this notice, right? And that's going to be right there front and center that they can click on it and that they sign and read that notice. So. Okay. Okay. And then that is, uh, to your point, people do say that. I mean, the people we work with, uh, we have to, the comment I hear often is we have to hold their hands for right. the onboarding process. And so you're telling me it could be as simple as just showing them how to get their app on their phone and then just let them do the, go, do the rest. You yeah. Know, right? I mean, I, I would love to say that that is 100% uh, effective every time, but there's still people that need hand-holding. And that's okay because at least everything's still in the same system. So if you do have a new employee that needs to come on board and you need to take care of them, you need to hold their hand, at least for the employer, for the admin person, it's all in one place. So they can still sit with them on the computer, right? Because before they were probably sitting down with them and walking them through, filling out all the paperwork, everything at their desk. But at least now it's in the Rippling platform. They can still hold their hand as they're going through that process. But by the time it's finished, it's all in one place for them. So I, I don't want to say that it's going to solve all of that problem, but at least the end result is in the same place. That's that's another great feature that I think is amazing because anywhere you change something in Rippling, it does what your name suggests. It ripples to the, the other uh, aspects, and you don't have to put it in. No, no uh, multiple inputting of information. Exactly, right? exactly. Um, so a question comes up. What if you have an accountant that you just love to work with? 
<clears throat> and you're considering this type of, of uh, a platform, but you don't want to lose that account or, or, or maybe it's uh, benefits like you, you have a broker you work with on your health insurance and you don't, you want to keep working with them. You feel like they're valuable, they have valuable input into the strategy and so forth. Can you guys work with that or do you basically just come in and, and take over everything? That's a good question. So in the last two years, Rippling has put a lot of time and money into our channel program. Um, and really what that is, is that gives these employers the opportunity to link in their accountant or their broker into the Rippling platform, right? Um, specifically on the broker side, you know, we give the, the broker the opportunity to go in and see, you know, all the plans that are going on, right? What are the rates? What are the designs? All that stuff. When it comes time for renewal, they can go in and update the plans, update the rates. So that way at that open enrollment process, all the employees can take care of everything in one location, right? Same thing on the accounting side, right? We've got an awesome accounting team that works directly with um, accountants to make sure that, that we can tie into the accounting system that they're using. And if they're not using an accounting system that we can tie into, you know, let's have that conversation. Let's figure out how we can make that a good relationship. Um, and one of the other investments that we've, we've, um, made in the last few months is we've actually started putting together a directory of accountants and brokers that work with Rippling already, right? So that way you can make sure that you are working with somebody that, that is proficient in the Rippling platform. But then also we want to make sure that we can train up your existing accountant or broker. You know, if, if you really like what the Rippling platform has to offer, but your broker hasn't jumped on board with it yet, that's okay. Right? That's what we're here to do. We're here to train them and help them understand what that Rippling platform can do for them. Awesome. And, and I see this with other companies that have platforms in place, and, and that leads into another question, but it, it seems like often they want to take over the benefits management. They want to take over everything and, and get paid the commissions that are related to that. They just want to be in control of that. Right. And that's kind of where I'm seeing a, a bit of a difference between you and some of these others is, no, you work with with the, the broker, the accountant. You help everyone work together, but it just makes operating the business a lot more streamlined. Is that is that fairly accurate? Yeah, that, that's 100% accurate. You know, we... we we do have a broker side in house for those companies that come to us from a digital platform that didn't have a broker already, right? But when our when our product specialists are talking to these companies that are reaching out to us, we say, "Hey, you know, are you are you using broker already?" And if they say yes, we say, "Would you be willing to introduce us to your broker? We'd be happy to work with him." Right. And and it's because we want to make that a seamless transition. We're a technology company. We really want to focus on the technology side of things and and build products and solutions that make sense for for companies. And that's why we've put so much time and effort and money into that channel program so that way we can work with those accountants and brokers uh, to not come in and try to take over and change the way that these businesses feel like they have to run their business. Okay. So a lot of a lot of businesses now um, are starting to get on to these platforms. Mm-hmm. But maybe they get on a platform uh, of not rippling or mm-hmm. something else. And it was just, maybe it was a nightmare, maybe it wasn't, but it took a lot to really get that implemented in their business. And so now they've got it implemented, they've been rolling with it. There's some things maybe they don't like. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? They think back on how long it took just to implement it, and it's like, you know, I don't want to do this again. So what is your solution there? How, how do you come in and not only um, show the value, but make the, the ease of transition something that people are even willing to consider? It's, uh, it's scary to take a leap like that, right? I mean, when, when you've got all of your payroll, your, your HR information, your benefits, and that's all tied into one system, which a lot of these systems are trying to automate nowadays, it's scary to come on board with another company and just trust that they're going to handle your information with care and, and with simplicity, right? Um, 
we, we've actually done things a little bit different here at Rippling, as well different than any other company that I've been involved with or or I've even, even seen. A lot of times there's a there's a major um, not really rift, but there's a division between when you come on board with your sales rep who you've built rapport with, you've probably had multiple meetings with them trying to decide, is this something that we want to do? Okay, we like the system. We like the sales rep. We, we think that this is a good investment. And then you get on board with the implementation team and they've got a few notes and then it's like, all right, good luck, right? It's a, it's a handoff and the sales reps, you know, they're done with it, right? Um, We've spent a lot of money on our implementation process. Um, we've built out a lot of automated features that are going to help us um, pull information over from some of our competitors. So that way, when you're coming on board from, you know, one of the mainstream different businesses that are out there, some of the different HRIS platforms or payroll companies, um, working with your implementation manager, we'll be able to get that information put directly into Rippling to help solve that process, right? Um, but also, even before any of that happens, we put together a roadmap for these employers so that way they understand, okay, this is going to be based on, you know, complexity of their, of their payroll, um, locations, where their employees are at, uh, benefits plans, right? Just depending on the complexity, we're typically implementing employers or new groups in anywhere from four to six weeks, right? And when we do that, we lay out a game plan. Week one, this is what we're going to do. Week two, this is what we're going to do. Week three, week four, and then, you know, until the implementation process is finished. So that way, that employer or admin or whoever's taking charge of that implementation process or a lot of times when you're dealing with bigger, bigger companies, you're dealing with multiple different departments, yeah. right? I mean, some companies have a full benefits department that is completely separate from payroll and HR, right? And so when you're going through this implementation process, there is a handoff between different types of organizations or departments. And so that roadmap is going to allow them to see everything that's going on and when those things need to be done. And, and it helps keep people accountable, not only us as the, the company that's doing the implementation, but along with that company and who's on the, who are on those teams. Um, but then also we really want to give it a, a process that's not complex. We don't want it to be scary. We don't want it to be overwhelming because, because we've all been there, right? We've implemented something. We've, we've made purchases where after the purchase, you figure out how hard it is, right? To, you know, to, Put together a swing set in the backyard and you're like all right i'm done with this i don't, I don't want to do this anymore yeah. right and and that's that's something that we want to try to avoid for these employers we want to make sure that it's a seamless process it, i mean it's still it's still a process it's not like it's yeah. it's going to be you know just a plug it in and wait six weeks and it'll be uploaded but so so then why are people telling you why are people willing to make that move what are the reasons that you see most often that someone is on a different platform and they're saying, okay, we're doing this. How come? Um, I would say in my experience, the thing that I run into the most is that people are dissatisfied with whether it's a level of service or ease of use um, that, that they're running into. Right. I mean, there, there are a few major payroll companies out there that, that everybody knows. They, they understand those systems because you Google them and that's the first thing that pops up. And so people, people, they don't question it because that's just, it is what it is. And so, you know, technology may be outdated. It may be a little bit more difficult to use or there's systems that, that try to get by by talking about automation when they're white labeling different companies or acquiring different businesses. So on a technical level, they're, they're not built from the ground up. So you're trying to integrate these different systems when you're saying, hey, this is all in one, when really it's kind of a hodgepodge of different different companies, different you know technologies. And so when, when businesses take demos with Rippling and they look at the automation factor, they, they see how seamlessly those payroll deductions from their benefits, from their 401k, from all those things, 
they tie directly into the payroll, that's, that's a really simple process, right? And not only that, when you have an issue with your Ben Admin system or you have an issue with the HR system, right? You know that you can reach out to our support staff and they're going to understand all of the different types of systems because you don't need a training manual on how this type of technology works yeah. versus this type of technology, right? right. So, so that's that's the thing that, that really makes people feel good about making that switch by, by taking that leap and saying, look, we've already done this implementation process. We've been with, you know, this, this all in one company, or we've been with this payroll company for the last five years and, and it's okay, right? There, there are definitely some processes that aren't great, but it's okay. Uh, that's really what makes people think let's, let's make this jump. Okay. Well, from the way I see it, sooner or later companies are going to make a jump, right? Um, there's obviously going to be benefits to making the right jump. And I think, uh, I mean, you talked about how you can, it's, it's almost all the cart. You, you can buy pieces of it mm -hmm. as you grow. I think that uh, is intriguing. That would make me as a business owner be very interested. Um, but, but just to, to everyone who's watching this, I would, I would suggest at least talking or, or getting a demo of rippling because it's it's truly a it's a marvelous product to be honest um, and i've seen the other ones and i've i've dealt with other other uh companies that had these these payroll platforms and so forth and it's it's pretty cool like just the it aspect being able to set up an employee with all their all their information, their passwords, all their access to, to different um, apps and so forth. And if they terminate, then click a few buttons and that's all done. You don't have to worry about having to close down accounts or anything. You can get their computer ready simply through the, the rippling process, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, so one of the things that, that makes it simple is – as they're going through that onboarding flow, like, okay, we, we hired a new employee. They're going to be working in the office. That new employee needs a computer. You can click a button and purchase a new computer through Rippling. Or if you have an existing inventory already in the back, right, you can assign whatever that inventory is to that new employee. We're going to take care of their password management like you talked about. So that way their, their passwords are as complex as you want them to be. We'll, we can install the security, the, the desktop software, you know, encrypt the hard drive. So when you have a sales rep that, that, you know, takes a client out to dinner and they leave their, their bag there at the, at the restaurant, they go back the next day and like yeah. your bag's gone, right? The last thing you want to do is call your client and say, Oh, Hey, all your personal information that I had on my computer. It's gone. So like tell everybody to change their passwords, right? That's that's not a fun thing you want to do. And so at that point, the admin of the company can just go and and mark their computer as stolen and it's going to wipe their computer clean, right? So that way it's it's protecting the employees, right? So there are a lot of different aspects of our IT piece that are just so far above and beyond a payroll company. Right. It's, it's part of automating the entire employee experience. And, and that's why we call it an employee management platform and not just an HRAS. It's because we're trying to help businesses automate the entire process of working with an employee from onboarding to the day to day changes. Right. People move. They, they have children. They get married. You know, they get promotions and you go in and you give an employee a raise and that's going to automatically prorate the salary and payroll. Right? It's going to take care of deduction changes. We'll update life insurance amounts on file with the carrier. Right? So there are all these different aspects that, that admins and, and people at these companies have to make changes to. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, if you get a promotion and, and you have a higher spending limit on your corporate card, that's something that can be automated through the Rippling platform. So there are multiple different facets to it. And then there's the opposite side of it too. Right? People leave the company. Right, you can take care of severance agreements, cut final paychecks, terminate benefits, right? All by clicking a few buttons, saying, "Hey, we're you know we're terminating this employee." Yeah, and it solves the problem. And I deal with benefits, um, and we have people that oh, I forgot to terminate that employee um, eight months ago. Right, and we've been paying their health insurance for eight months, and they're not even 
here. It doesn't happen. Right. I mean, things like that, you don't, you lose a bit of, a bit of those things you have to worry about get dropped when, you know, that worry drops when you have something like this that takes control of that. So, and like you said, you don't have to sacrifice using the broker that you've had a relationship with. Right. right. You can still use that same broker because when you go to a lot of these other businesses that want to automate that process, it's because they have to be the broker to do that. Right. With Rippling, we want you to still be able to have that relationship with your broker and, and, and have all the things that your broker is going to offer you, but then still have the automation within the system. Yeah. So, Very cool. Well, anything else you can think that um, you want to share about Rippling that uh, makes it just blow people's minds and <laughs> up at the door and get ready to, um, how, how does someone find out more about it? That's a good question. So um, what I would definitely recommend first is, you know, talk to your broker. If your broker has access to Rippling, you know, definitely come talk to you guys and, and you know, get an appointment set up. That, that's that's really as, as difficult as it is. Um, when you're interested, we'll, we'll do a full demo. We'll talk about the way that these businesses are, are running through their processes, what kind of systems they currently have in place, what kind of things can we consolidate, right? Um, you know, because there's a lot of different types of things that may not necessarily be a module that we sell right. in the system, but it's something that we're going to automate for them, right? They're, maybe the company's using, you know, a payroll system and an HR system, but then they also are using a company like a, like a DocuSign to have their employees sign all of their like onboarding paperwork, right? That's not a, a feature that is like that you have to purchase within the Rippling platform. It's just something that comes along with it, right? And so little things like that, we want to figure out how are you doing things right now? What are your pain points? Or are you just interested and you want to see what Rippling has to offer? Let's schedule a demo and, and see if it makes sense. And if not, that's okay too, right? Yeah. And if, it, if it's not a good point or you're under contract with somebody else, you know, let's, let's talk about that, what the transition would look like in six months, in one year. But we're, we're a pretty quick growing company. And so we're adding new things all the time. So, you know, six months from now, Rippling is going to look pretty different than it does today. So better. it definitely will. I've, I've been with the company for just over a year and, you know, we now have our very own you know, time and attendance system. We have, you know, um, applicant tracking system. We're working with job codes. We're, you know, working with these blue collar companies that was impossible to work with before. We can now work with companies that the employees may not have an email address, right? And so we can do things through SMS text messaging that that wasn't an option before. Um, you know, we have a PEO that gives employers the opportunity to work with your broker, but then also come in and, and have that large group plan and, and make life easier um, so that way when they do outgrow that PEO model, you move right back to your broker and we can, we can make sure that it's taken care of, right? That's, that's really what it comes down to is we want to automate these systems and just free p smart people to work on hard problems. Yeah, that's awesome. This is, uh, it's, it's really fantastic. Um, I want to thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Sharing all this great information with us. I've sat through a few demos myself and, I can't possibly retain all the information <laughs> that comes through there, especially not just having it at my fingertips. Uh, but every time, it's it's just amazing. Um, and to your point, like in those demos, it's not here's our product. I hope it works for you. It's it's mostly, to be honest with you, finding out about them and their operation and showing them how Rippling can solve problems. That's, that's what I really love about it. So thank you again for coming. Thank you. Uh, those of you that have joined us, I just want to say um, or let you know that the reason that we've uh, had this, this conversation today that we're uh, showing this to you is we know that at some point you are going to be faced with a, a point in time where you need to choose some kind of platform like this, some way to automate or ease your business's operations. And in, in my opinion, and what I've seen, Rippling is the best one out there. You can look up reviews online and all sorts of things, and you can see the ratings and so forth, how they compare to other platforms. But from a perspective of a broker who does 
uh, insurance group, group benefits. These guys are great to work with, and I feel like their program is, is the best one. And so we want you to have an opportunity to at least look at it and see if it's something you'd be that would interest you before you jump on something else that doesn't end up being the right fit. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Jeremiah Barber from Landmark Risk Management, Preston Guthrie from Brooklyn. Have a great day. Brought to you by Landmark Risk Management and Insurance. The experience is the difference.